G'day to you. I'm a Toby Elfia, as in, it never hurts to be Elfia. <laughs> and uh, Paul's asked me to come and talk to you a bit about Scrumpy's uh, sustainability and the sort of, uh, the worldwide impact of the game. Because I've come over to the Scrumpy Orchards and I've been working there for, for some time now. I've been working as a forager. So my job is to go and find apples and find some wood in, out in the forest. And it's when, when the orchard's not working as well as it should, it's where I come in, because my, my, my skills are really there to try and help and, and gather stuff. Now, I said to Paul when I came in, I'm really all about the uh, global impact of the game. So I've persuaded him to cut down on the uh, the, the single-use plastics we're using. So we're going to try and avoid using the single-use plastics completely in the box. Around the outside, we're going to try and avoid that as well. We're going to try and use paper alternatives. Um, this will make uh, it a little bit difficult. There will be some, some challenges with that. But we're going to try and be as sustainable as possible with that and using reusable materials. We're also going to, going to try and use a, a, a game which has real language independence. It's, one of the things I'm passionate about is that we're a big global community here. And uh, it'd be brilliant if, if everyone, whether they're, they're French, Spanish, Portuguese, whatever their, whatever their nationality, they can still access the game. So all the cards that we're... Uh, we're using are all relying on iconography rather than using language and to make it so it's accessible for everyone to play. Now, along the way, I said to Paul, you've got to make it so it's a replayable game. What you don't want is this one shot and you're done game where people play it a couple of times and go, I'm bored of this now, I'm going to get rid of it. So instead of that, what we've done is we've um, we, he's made it so it's it's got a lot of replayability because at the start of every game, you've got your public and your private goals. So you're going to get a couple of public goals, uh, three public goals for everyone, and you've got a couple of uh, uh, private ones that you're going to choose one from. And when you're choosing your goals, you're going to try and make sure that you uh, decide which one you fancy. And then in this way, every game feels different. Some games you might be striving to try and uh, just get bottles out and churn them out as quickly as you can. Other times, you're going to try and be a bit more flexible because you've got different goals to try and achieve. So that's the one way it makes it replayable. The other one is the vendors. I was really impressed with the game because in the vendors, as you can see on the screen, you've got the supermarket here. Now, the supermarket is a, a very interesting one because all these vendors are themed. This one, there's not a barrel in sight. The supermarket really desires for you to make bottles and churn them out. But when you go and deliver them, you can pick up some more apples and, and get that process going again. So everyone's got a different bonus, which means every game will play very differently. Every game will value different cards. It will make it so that the, it's a little puzzle every time you play it. And so I really like this. And one of the stretch goals of quite early doors is to add some more vendors. And there'll be a, a, even further ones to add some more vendors. So you can make the game more, more play, replayable just by encouraging your friends, your family, and your gaming mates down the pub just to get involved and uh, back the game. It may not be for you, I get that. But if it's something that's interesting to you, let me just tell you a bit about the or origin of the, of the word scrumpy. I'd never heard of it before, but I, went, I came along and I said to him, Paul, what's this scrumpy for? Why is it called scrumpy? And apparently in the west of England, down, down in the southwest, there's a whole region where they make a lot of this, this cider out of, out of the, uh, the apples from the orchards. And scrumpy is like this word used to describe like the uh, home brewed cider. And so that's where the words come from. It's come from like the home brewing process. So it's, it's really a fascinating area. And I, I encourage you to read a bit more about English cider. And uh, hopefully the game sounds like something you're going to have fun with. That's, that's what I, I've been told. I've played it. It was quite good. I didn't play all the versions, but it, it was good fun. So if you do like it, get involved. Remember, it's all about sharing these videos, sharing the campaign, getting more uh, knowledge to people. If you know some people who you know love a, love a game, love a bit of fun, get them involved. Tell them about it. Anyway, I've been Toby, like I said. Check out the game, and I, I, I'll let you take care of yourselves. <laughs>